Crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for Crackberry.com. Taking a video first look at Crackberry 10, CB10 in Blackberry world. This is our native BlackBerry 10 app built in Cascades. It is built for speed and it is a great example of how a BlackBerry 10 app should be built. We use all the native UI elements in here. So when you swipe over, you're going to see we have everything CrackBerry has to offer. So we've got all of our article content. We have the forums, which are super fast. And we have you know, a nice little shortcut there. It can jump you back to the store or wherever you want to go. Um, it uses you know, the context menu when you're on content elements so you can take action on them and swipe down for settings. And we've built a lot of good settings into the app already with more to come so you can really customize your experience how you want it. And uh, you know, as good BlackBerry 10 apps should, there's even an active frame. So when it's running and minimized on your home screen, it's gonna switch to that and toggle between latest stories, which is pretty cool. So now we're gonna go back into the app and from there we're gonna take a look at each section. So Let's start with the uh, blogs actually. So right now we're on the, the home view. You have your stream of content. You know, if we featured a, a story on the home page, it's gonna show up a little bit bigger there. We don't always feature stories, so sometimes it'll just start right like that. And as you scroll through, we've, we're pulling in lots of stories. So if you haven't kept up on everything, it's really, really quick to scroll through those headlines. Now, if you wanna jump into a story, you can tap on it, you see how fast it loads and scroll through the story. And if you wanna read the comments, you just tap and they'll load really quick, same thing. Now with this version of the app, we don't have comment responses in there yet, but we're about to launch in the next week our CrackBerry site redesign, and then we'll be doing an update to the app to allow commenting by users. All the APIs for this have been built into our new site, which is coming soon. Uh, what's also cool is you know when you're in an app, or when, if, when you're in a story, you can take action. So if you wanna open the story in a web browser, um, you know, share it via email, you can do that. If you want to share it socially, you can do that as well. Share it to a BBM contact, for example. It's all connected the way you would expect it to be connected in a great BlackBerry app experience. Uh, so the apps are great. If you want to, you know, filter to different categories, you can just do that. So if you want reviews, you can pull open all of the reviews and that's what you're going to get. And when you have, you know, we do have notifications built in, as you can see here. So you can see if you've missed stories or not. Uh, if you want to clear those notifications, you can just go pull that open and mark all as red. And all the content on the blogs will be marked as red. So the blogs are super handy. And the forums are even more full featured right now and very fast. So you can navigate quickly into each section, pull up, pull up in your different forum threads. You know, if you want to go through here, um, you know, oh, actually, I should sorry this. When you're in a forum, this is cool. It'll load up. If you pull down, you can pull up your threads and sticky threads in a forum. Once you're into a forum thread, we've made it really quick to navigate. So if a, if a thread has a lot of pages, you can see this one has four pages, you can pull down from the top and actually jump to any page you want to. So now we're jumping to page one. You can go through your forum thread if you see a uh, comment you like, you can tap and hold and take action on it. You can view a member's profile, reply to the thread, reply with quote, edit your post now. Thanks and likes functionality are built in. You can report a post, all the things you'd expect to do. If you want to reply to a thread, you can obviously do that as well. And uh, yeah, really, really good. When you get to the bottom of a page of threads, we've made it quick to get to the next page. You actually can just pull up to go to the next page. Super fast experience all around. If you want to create a new thread, same thing. You go into a forum and it's easy to create a new thread forum topic and put your post in there. So we've seen a ton of usage out of the app already and people are just saying it is literally the best app experience ever. Uh, there's a lot of forum apps across all platforms and this is super fast. Uh, again, for your different forum advanced settings, you can change them up in here. So we've, in, on the settings screen, we've done some cool stuff. So if you want to default to the forums instead of the articles, you can do that, which is awesome. You can choose how you want URLs to open when you're clicking links, if you want them to load right into the app itself or in the browser. Uh, in the forums, when you're jumping on different thread titles, you can go to the first post on a thread or to the first on red post. Uh, you can change your signature up and you have options on how you want notifications to work. And if you want to change your notifications so you don't want it bonking at you, 
you can open that. It's going to take you to the main notification setting on BlackBerry 10. Now in this case, you have to scroll down. We don't have a way yet to just shortcut this over. Go into other applications and then pull open CB10. And then from there, you're going to be able to change if you want sounds on, off, and everything else. Uh, I can jump into the app quickly again. Get out of here. And remember, you can always pull back on that menu to get to the shortcuts if you want to jump around. Or we also built that shortcut into it just to make it extra easy. Uh, so really cool all around. You know, if you want to go into the store, that's fully featured right now. We've even done some cool things here. Like if you want to call store support, you can literally call straight out of the menu and call the 1-800 number there. Um, just awesome, right? And in a nutshell, that is a good first look at the app. There's some other features I haven't touched on. Uh, even things like when you're in a forum here, let's see if I can find a good uh, thread that's an example. You're gonna be discovering things as you use it, trust me. I wanna find a thread with some images. You know, maybe I'll go back into the Z10. And go into a sticky thread here. Show us your new BlackBerry 10. You can see here when you have a long thread title, you can actually scroll through it if you want to see it all. And if you have like an image, you can tap, hold, take action, and just like that, share it, set it as your wallpaper. If you have connected apps like this, you can open it in PicShop even. So we've been really, really uh, mindful to do everything a good BlackBerry app should. You know, even when it comes to BBM integration, we have that. So you can go to invite a contact. Uh, if I start typing, you know, Blaze here, I could send an invite to Blaze, invite him to the CrackBerry 10 app. You know, if I pull open Blaze's BlackBerry here for a second, it's going to come up. And if I swipe into invites, you're going to see an invite for CB10 from CrackBerry Kevin. He can go ahead and install that and um, it'll actually show up in your connected app section. So, you know, if I open my BBM for a second here, just to be quick, it's, uh, it's pretty cool when you go into a person's profile, you can go ahead to connected apps and see everything that, uh, oops, that you have connected via BBM, including fake women covers. You can take photos of yourself and turn them into magazine covers. It's awesome, but the Crackberry app is the best. And on that note, I think that's a pretty good look at everything. You know, if you, if you already are a member, it's, um, it's easy to log into the app. If you're not, you can actually pull everything open and uh, register through the app itself. Get all your profile settings there. If you want to log out, it is at the very bottom. But for the most part, I think that is a good first look. We have a lot more to come, rounding out our galleries, making a few, uh, adding some more bells and whistles as we're able to. Um, there's a few things we're waiting for BlackBerry to add into the app for, you know, API access so we can go native into the hub, uh, you know, get videos playing more directly within the app. Right now it's actually going to launch the web browser when you do those. Uh, that's just something we cannot currently get around. But everything is, you know, fast, functional, and, uh, and working well. So with that note, CrackBerry 10 app. It's hot. It's there for you to download. Uh, it's the most highly rated app in BlackBerry 10 right now or in BlackBerry world and we're going to keep it that way. So download it, give it a five star rating and if you have feedback, you can jump into the CrackBerry forums and actually I'll take you right there right now so you can see where to, um, where to leave your feedback, which is in the CrackBerry site related talk. We have a CrackBerry apps forum and you can go ahead here and put in your requests, any feedback you might have. We are absolutely on top of it. So that's it. Enjoy the app. It is awesome. Kevin out. Crackberry.com.